Hi hires, so we're looking at a problem solving question from the 2015 SQE paper. This is question three, this is an experimental design question. Okay, our context. We have a yeast, which I am not even going to attempt to pronounce. We're just gonna call it the yeast from now on. Uses lactose as a respiratory substrate. Fair enough, it's just telling you that's what it uses. Investigation was carried out into the effect of lactose concentration on ethanol production by this yeast species. Five flasks were set up with the yeast and 100 centimetres cubed of different concentrations of lactose. Sealed to maintain anaerobic conditions and then samples were removed from each flask at 12 and 36 hours. Okay, here's our data that we have. Ethanol concentration in grams per 100 centimetres cubed. The lactose concentration increasing on, the, on this side and then at 12 hours, how much ethanol had we got and at 36, how much ethanol had we got? Okay, identify the independent variable, the thing that you changed. You changed the lactose concentration, and that's it. To be absolutely clear, the effect of lactose concentration. Okay, the dependent variable was your ethanol. Okay, describe the relationship between the lactose concentration and the ethanol concentration at 12 hours of growth. So here's our 12 hours, here is our concentration. Okay, now we have, you treat this like it was one of the graph questions from the data handling. So at four, we have 1.2 grams per cent per 100 centimetres cubed being produced. It then increases until it gets to 16% lactose concentration when it reaches 2.8 grams per centimetre cubed and then remains the same, even though you increase the lactose concentration. All of it for the two marks. Calculate the percentage increase in ethanol concentration between 12 and 36 hours in the 4% flask. Okay, so just the 4%. We started at 1.2, we went to 1.65. Percentage increase means we are looking for change divided by the start, then times it by 100. So our change is going from 1.2 to 1.65, so 0.45 over our start at 1.2 oh. so 0.45 divided by 1.2 times it by 100 and that's you okay air leaked into the 16 percent lactose flask between the 12 and 36 hours growth so it's stating this happened explain why this resulted i'm assuming that must be with with a lower than expected ethanol concentration. Okay, well, if air leaked in, air is about 20% oxygen, which would flip it from using fermentation pathways to aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration does not produce ethanol. And that's what you need to have got together in your head. Here's our mark scheme. Pretty straightforward. Um, you'll notice that they're not accepting you to round um, with your percentage here. Um, everything else is pretty straightforward and that's us.